to being able to uh, raise the money that uh, you're looking for. Don't expect your campaign to win over everybody that goes to it. People are not all going to want to participate. Set your funding goal as low as you can so that you hit the goal and build momentum and excitement because you've hit and exceeded your goal. Um, offer more than just a congratulatory email. Offer um, rewards that are appropriate for the different levels of fees that you're trying to, uh, to raise. Uh, if you're trying to raise a million dollars, accepting $5 increment rewards is probably not going to be a good idea. People are not going to give you enough $5 to get there. So have your rewards in sync with both the product or service that you're offering and the goals that you're setting uh, because you need to, you know, it needs to all synchronize and make sense. Award your donors with reduced prices. In other words, give them a deal on the product or service that you're, that you're going to be offering. Don't skimp on the design of your product and don't skimp on the design of the offering page. It needs to be well done. There are credit-based funding platforms out there like LendingClub.com and Prosper.com. I'm not going to spend much time talking about them because it's very simple. If you're trying to raise money through a crowdsourced debt credit program, you are still going to have to meet the fundamental ratios and lending parameters that you would for almost any bank. Just because people are willing to lend you money online versus going to a bank doesn't mean that they're going to be willing to accept a, a lower uh, quality creditor. So if you have issues with your credit, if you have issues with the credit worthiness of your company, especially with the financial ratios and the cash flow that you're generating, crowdsourced funding is not a solution. It's not a panacea. You still have to meet the credit worthiness requirements that you would have to meet with almost any bank. There is obviously going to be a slight sort of easing because of the crowdsourced nature. But the fact is most of the websites are going to be pretty diligent about making sure that you disclose the information so you can't just go out and try to raise money and um, you know that your, 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 your debt lending sites are really not going to be much different in terms of what information you have to provide than if you go to a bank. And so if you can go to a bank, you probably can raise money through a bank. And if you can't go to a bank, you probably can't raise money through a crowdsourced debt program. So I'm not going to really spend much time on those. Fees, as you can see, range from 3 to